What's going on guys, welcome along to another video. I'm Matt over at DSR and today we're taking out this, the Triumph Tiger 900 GC Pro. Bit of a mouthful, I know, but we got there. Being the GT Pro, this is gonna have all the bells and whistles, but let's start off at the engine. It produces 888 cc with 94 brake horsepower and 87 newton meters of torque. They aren't the biggest numbers, so we'll see how it handles. A little bit of slow speed, city speed riding. Hopefully, we'll find some back roads to open her up. At the minute, I am in sport mode. 40 miles an hour. There is a little bit of uh, jerkiness on the initial pickup, and in third gear, fourth gear, it does smooth out does move out nicely so we do have five different rider modes and they are going to be rain road sport off-road and rider obviously each one of those changes the parameters of the bike and how it feels slightly especially on the throttle so in sport third gear is a little bit on off a little bit jerky we're now into rain mode and we'll see how the throttle response is sometimes i find if you do have a jerky throttle if you aren't going to get it uh, the ECU flashed and you're kind of going to keep it standard Sometimes when you're in like the city town riding you are better off putting it into a kind of rain mode So it just normally dulls the throttle down and then when you get out of it into the back roads Then you put it into sport I'm 6'1 and when I'm sat on this bike the seat does feel a little bit low I kind of feel like I'm sat in the bike. Sometimes that's not a bad thing but I do feel kind of a little bit lower than I'd like sat in this seat. Out of ours though, just like the 1200s, they're nice, big and wide, pretty flat as well. So that means they're comfortable position from my chest. But also, that really helps with the steering, a bit of the counter steering. Going 60, the windscreen is adjustable. If you've got a bar across it, you literally just force it down or pull it up. Uh, and at the highest position it's kind of right at the top of the uh, at the helmet as you can see it isn't the biggest screen but it does a fairly good job for its size so this engine then doing kind of motorway speeds at uh, 70 there's uh, some vibrations coming through the pegs not a massive amount but there is some nice thing to see is we do have cruise control like I said, wind is right at the top of the helmet in the highest position. For me, because it's quite a skinny screen, it's hitting me on the shoulders more. But there's more than enough punch in this engine to do any form of overtakes. It's not necessarily a slow engine, it's just something you need to kind of, uh, you need to work the gears a little bit more. Overall, riding position, it is comfortable. Just the whole kind of peg seat handlebar triangle. It's a very relaxed, comfortable riding position. Easy to do any form of long distance on it. I won't be out on it long enough to really test the seat. But so far, it does feel kind of plush enough that I'd better do an hour and a half without stopping. But like I said, I'm not going to do that this morning. So that's just me kind of guesstimating. We have got a quick shifter up and down. It's nice to see. Obviously, like I said, GT Pro has got all the little fancy bits that we want as riders nowadays. Quick shifter works nicely. I'd say there's a fraction of clunkiness about it, but it works, which is uh, a lot better than some of the other quick shifters I've used on other models, not Triumph. Triumph claimed this to be their kind of urban adventure style bike. Not gonna see why. This could easily be used around town, but then you get out to the back rows like this, and this thing will perform really, really well. On these kind of back rows, suspension is actually handled really nicely. I believe they're 45 mil upside down forks, and they are adjustable. Uh, on top of the forks, they got little clickers, so you can do them whilst you're out, out and about, which is always nice, especially if you go from uh, riding solo to having a, a pillion. You can then adjust it. Brakes are nice and progressive. We got Brembo calipers. We got twin 320 at the front and a 255 single at the rear. The only thing you do find is when you are getting on the front quite uh, aggressively, should we say, 
then there is a bit of dive on that front suspension but with the clickers you can have a little play around and see if you can get it to your your liking your kind of sweet spot let's look at some of the electronics on this bike then starting at the front obviously leds all around we've got daytime running lights and looks really nice coming back from that we have got a large seven inch tft which is also on the 1200 series that's nice that's coming down to the lower models even though it's a seven inch tft it doesn't have full map navigation but you can connect it to your phone and then you can have turn by turn uh, navigation on it everything is controlled by the menu button on the right hand side of the handlebars and then a little button at the bottom that's your kind of your jog dial to maneuver around the menu not only do we have heated grips on this but we've also got heated seats for the rider and pillium always a nice feature especially when we're starting to get into the wetter months now in the uk this model does come with fog lights and that's activated by the button on the top left of the handlebar and you get the big fog light green light down there to say they're activated me personally on my own bike i leave the fog lights on all the time just so there's more light frontage on the bike hoping that other people will see us easier another perks having a bike finding random little places i get it there's cars but i wouldn't come here in the car but on the bike i'd happily come here I want me to use this time to stop and have a little walk around. Here we go then before it starts doing the wet stuff behind me. What do you think? Do you like it in black? I think it looks pretty good. Um, covering off some of the tech that I didn't talk about, or I didn't get to before I pulled over. This bike does have tire pressure monitoring system on it. So if you are going away, it's nice to have up on the screen as a little warning. Um, so you don't get caught short if you've got a slow puncher. Another good thing for either touring or uh, kind of winter riding or nighttime riding is the switch gear on this is backlit so they'll have a little LED the illumination behind it so you can see exactly what you're pushing and then when you go into the off-road option uh, you can turn off the rear traction control completely so you can do some little, little skids not that many good and I can do skids because I can't I think the uh, the headlights on this remind me of the old school uh, motorcycle goggles put them on the screen now just so you know what i'm on about do you agree with me these are the fog lights i was on about earlier always handy having more light on the front of the bike we've got not only a bash plate we've got a center stand and a side stand so any form of maintenance that you need to do whilst you are out and about will be easily done we've got a good size seat and pillion seat grab handles and then rear box ready and lastly a little extra for the passenger it's got a din charging point so they can charge their phone or whatever they need whilst sat at the back or if you put a rear bag you'll be able to charge anything in the bag whilst you're riding so this bike in white is going to set you back 13,900 pounds if you want it in the black it's going to be 14,100 and then lastly the blue is 14,200 pounds being the kind of adventure touring bike this bike has got a 20 litre fuel tank that's going to get you over 200 miles which you can't complain about can you now before that cloud starts coming down let's get back on the road and finish off the review camera probably won't pick it up but the angle of the seat is kind of quite steep at the front and then drops in that's probably why i feel kind of so low in the seat well this bike has a seat of 820 mil to 840 can be adjusted from underneath the seat I'm 6'1 and when sat on this I've got both feet flat on the floor either side so any shorter riders you aren't gonna have any dramas getting on with this bike now this has got a curb weight of 220 kilos you can't feel it feels really light easy to handle around the car parks the steering lock on this is super tight yeah it's just really easy to handle so 
So this bike gets a tick for slow speed handling because it just flicks. That's one thing I've noticed across all the chimes I've tested so far is their handling and their flickability is just spot on. Couldn't ask for anything more from a bike when it comes to handling. I mean, the engine is punchy if you start getting the uh, the use out of this rev range. And I've still got it in rain mode. So, what I did find with the, uh, the modes is when you're stationary, not only rider can you set it up to kind of your ride and how you want, but you can also change the parameters of the other uh, rider modes, so the range, road, sport, etc. So if you wanted to tweak those rider modes as well, then you can. As I said, uh, this will cruise nicely in sixth gear. For me, the kind of biggest bug bet is the wind coming around the side of the skinny uh, windscreen, windshield. But then again, I'm quite a big lad, quite wide. Other sort of skinnier people might not find any drums with it. Mark, I'm looking at you. Turned heated seat on by accident, don't need that. In a nutshell then, this Triumph Tiger 900 GT Pro handles beautifully. The engine can get lively if you want it to. It can happily cruise at motorway speeds. You could do the touring, it's got a good sized tank, great range on it. Overall, I think it's a good bike with a good package. I'm going to go and hand this bike back now, ladies and gents. So thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. More importantly, subscribe to the channel. We've got plenty of content coming out and we have got reviews coming out weekly. Nothing else to say, but until the next one, ride safe.